Hey guys, welcome to another lunch review. Today I'm going to try these Three Bold Brothers burritos. Uh, this one is the grilled chicken. These were at Meyer for $4.99. So they're not cheap, but if you're, you get two in the box, uh, I guess that's $2.50 a piece. That's not too awfully bad. Um, it's grilled white meat chicken, Monterey Jack cheese, black beans, cilantro lime rice, and fresh baked tortilla. Um, like I said, there's two in the box. Um, handmade. Let's see. They're 430 calories per burrito, so keep that in mind. There's the ingredients if you want to see them, and there's a little story about the company, I guess. So we're going to microwave these. Uh, it doesn't have, doesn't have directions for anything else anyway. So, um, so remove burrito from package. These are frozen, by the way. Uh, wrap burrito on a paper towel, place on a microwave-safe plate. Uh, microwave for one minute and 30 seconds. Flip it over and do 130, and then let it sit for a minute. I'm going to go just a little less on the second time because the last time I had one of these, it got a little hard on the outside. So I'm going to do 115 um, on the second time. So just to let you know, I, I did uh, I did try these before, a uh, different one, not this bigger flavor. So I've never tried this flavor before. But I know enough to lower the time a little bit in the microwave that I'm using. Now your microwave, maybe uh, maybe it needs to be at that. But for mine, it, it doesn't matter. So here they are, wrapped in plastic. Let's try to open it. Use my teeth, you know. Yeah, so it looks like a, just a traditional burrito. Uh, pretty good, pretty filled, it feels like. So um, I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I'm gonna get a paper towel, wrap it up, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. I took it out of the paper towel and, and cut it open so I can show you the inside. So that's what the inside looks like. It's pretty full. It smells, it smells really good. There's the other side. It's really, really hot. Um, the only thing I would do different is the, the this tended to stick a little bit to the paper towel. You can see where it kind of stuck a little bit there. Not bad. I just took my knife and kind of pushed away from the paper towel. It, was, it wasn't bad. But you could, uh, another brand of burrito um, that I tried a long time ago um, said you could put them in parchment paper. So I might wrap them in parchment paper instead of a paper towel. I don't know if it would make any difference, but at least it wouldn't stick. So uh, I want to let these cool off and I'll be back. Okay, it's had a few uh, minutes to cool off, so I'm just going to try a bite. I can really smell that, um, it smells like that cilantro rice, um, the lime, I really, that's a strong smell. It could be that or a seasoning of the chicken, I can't tell. Good flavor. It's different than what I was expecting. It's a little spicier than what I would have thought. It has a little kind of burn in the back of your throat, so. But if you like spicy, then, then you might enjoy this, but let me take another bite. Actually, you get a couple flavors coming through. You get the bean flavor, you get that cilantro rice flavor, you get the spice. Um, it's more heat than, than actually flavor. Um, and then you get a little bit of that chicken flavor. I'm gonna take a bite of just the chicken. The chicken has a good texture. You can tell it's like chopped up. Um, it doesn't taste like it's really seasoned necessarily, but um, it does have a good flavor to it. Let me try a bigger piece. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it that you get the bean flavor. It's more like a... Um, it's more like a refried bean flavor than a black bean, really strong flavor. It's more like refried beans. Um, I like this one. Is it the best burrito I've ever had? I don't know. It's good. Um, I'm going to give it a four because I do like the flavors of it. Now that I've gotten used to that first couple of bites, the heat, um, the rest of the bites haven't been like as, as spicy. If you don't like spicy food, I don't think you, you would like these. But if you don't mind a little bit of spice, these are not going to like really be super hot. They're, they're just got a little bit of spice to be pleasant. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. Lessening that time a little bit made it a little softer back here in the back. The first time, the one I did before, the ends were a little hard because I microwaved them for, for the recommended time. Uh, dropping them 15 seconds on that last, that second time uh, really helped keep it soft and the filling is still plenty hot enough. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. I like the flavor, I like the texture. Um, there could be a little bit more flavor in the chicken. They could have maybe, I don't know, seasoned it a little bit more or something. I don't know. It, it, there's something still, maybe the cheese, maybe more cheese in there or something um, need, could elevate this a little higher. But overall, pretty good. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.